everyone and welcome to Neuromath. In today's video, we are going to learn how to identify multiples of whole numbers. And we'll look at two examples so that we understand it well. Now multiples are the result of multiplying the given number by integers. So no fractions or decimals. You can think of it as skip counting. To better understand this, let's start with the multiples of 6. Now if I multiply 6 with the integer of 1, I get 6, which is the first positive multiple of 6. Now let's multiply it by 2, which is 12. Then 3, which is 18. As you can see, this is turning into skip counting. 6 by 4 gives me 24. 6 by 5 is 30. 6 by 6 is 36. 6 by 7 is 42, and so on. The multiples will continue on forever, and though the ones we are looking at are positive and going up, multiples can also be negative and decrease in value. However, at this level, we are only working with positive integers. Let's move on to our second example. Using our definitions of multiples, I can either multiply 9 by an integer, or just skip count by 9 to get its multiples. And like I mentioned before, these multiples will continue on forever, but we'll just focus on the first 7 multiples of the number 9. What I am going to do is use integers to identify the first 7 multiples of 9. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 6 is 54 and 9 times 7 is 63. There you have it, the first 7 positive multiples of the number 9. That's all for today everyone. Hope you have a better understanding of the topic covered. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.